In this video we're going to learn how to do calculations involving ordinary annuities using an HP 12C calculator and we'll touch very briefly on how to do um, annuity due type calculations. So an annuity is simply defined as a fixed regular payment, something like insurance premium or rent. An ordinary annuity is where you have the payment made at the end of each period. An annuity due has the payment being made at the beginning of the period. And it's also important to note the sign convention, so we're taking annuity payments to be negative. If you don't, then you will get very unusual answers. So let's just jump straight into an example and see how we do this in practice. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the future value of a thousand dollar annuity paying four percent for four years terminating thereafter and the payments are made at the end of the year so that's why we've got an ordinary annuity so payments are made at the end so if we extract the key pieces of data for the interest rate is four percent n is four so we've got a payment at year one two three and four and the payment is minus a thousand using our sign convention here. So let's do this on the calculator. So the first step for good practice is always clearing the memory. Uh, you should get in the habit of regularly clearing the memory otherwise previous calculations will interfere with the calculation you're doing now. Um, and ensure that it's set to the end as well. So we're doing G and then end. It should be by default. If it says begin, then you've got the period, the payments going in at the beginning. So ensure that you've got nothing written along here. Otherwise, it will do an annuity due calculation, which we don't want because this is an ordinary annuity. So clearing the memory. The best way to do this is to do function and then clear x. Um, then we can enter our key bits of data here. So we put 4 and then put that into i, that's automatically divided by 1000, that's the way that this i function works. It knows that it's getting a percentage, so you just put in 4. And for n, put in 4 again, so we've got n is 4, and for the payment, we type in 1000, these commas help you. Um, don't use the negative sign, we use the CHS button, that changes the sign, this makes that negative. And we're putting that into payment. We now have all the information needed, so to do the calculation we simply press um, future value which is the FV button and it does the calculation for us and gives us 4246.46 and that is the correct answer. Had you wanted to do this calculation as an annuity due you would just do it in exactly the same way just clear that, um, except you would put this to be at the beginning of each period, so you put G and then press number si number um, 7 for begin and then you've got begin written here so the payments would be going in at the beginning of each period and because of this you're shifting everything back so your value of n would change so you'd be getting a payment at 0, 1, 2 and 3 so that's why you're going to have n as 3 in that case um, so annuity dues work in, in a very similar way so if you know how to do this calculation you just change the payment um, to be at the beginning of the period and you shift N. And so that's how you do these annuity type calculations using your HP 12C calculator. And thank you for watching.